Good afternoon, everyone. Today we have some very important news to discuss. Every 35 years, it is said that a group of aliens come to Earth for their meeting. Last time they came, they helped save the major outbreak of the flu. Many people claim to have seen aliens coming to Earth, and some believe that they are the ones who found the cure to the flu. Now we have Olivia on the field to tell us more about the people's opinion on the return of the aliens. Olivia? Thank you, Thea. Since it is currently 2021, we believe that the aliens will be making their next visit anytime soon. Our scientists have failed to find a cure for the virus, and we hope that the aliens come in peace and with the willingness to find the cure. Now, we have some citizens who have decided to express their thoughts and feelings towards the aliens coming to Earth. What is your opinion on this? Hi, um, I do not really know why we are trusting these aliens. What if it all goes wrong? This does not seem like a promising or safe idea. I agree with the fact that these creatures are dangerous and are not like us. They deserve to be in space and not anywhere near us humans. Yes, thank you for your comments. Moving on, we now have a State of the Union address from our president regarding the arrival of the aliens for the Galactic Truce meeting. Let's see what he says. Hello, my dear fellow citizens. We are all gathered here to discuss on the celebrants who have come to rescue us. We have our own modern technology and we ourselves are coming up with a cure that will surely stop this virus. We are strong, independent, and smart people and the help of the Celebans is not I understand the Celebans saved us 35 years but back then we didn't have the technology we had. So you see, we have got this and don't need the help of anyone. Now who's with me? Hey Bleem and Mings, it looks like we're almost about to reach Earth. Yeah, we're about to land. I miss human food and its delicious taste. Ah, uh, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. You know, Bleem, our purpose is to help humans find the cure and not to think about food all day. Yes, the warm welcoming and greetings they give us is quite overwhelming. I can't believe it's been 35 years since we last visited Earth. It feels like we were here just yesterday. I can't wait to see how much Earth and humans have changed. OMG, OMG, look at this heavenly place. It looks so different from the last time you came. Um, where is everybody? It's so deserted and empty here. Oh, well, this is kind of weird. No one came to meet us. Is it because of the virus? Maybe they don't want to be in a crowded area. I think so. Let's go ahead and get them the cure. Okay. But something feels strange. You gotta tell me that something's wrong. Yes, yes, come on now, let's go. Oh look, here comes our welcome. The president has ordered your immediate departure from our planet. The truce between our planets is now officially void. You are no longer welcome to help and interact with the humans. Wait, excuse me, Mr. Mr. Miller, Secretary of Defense. Yes, right. We do not understand. The truth has been going around for hundreds of years. Our health for the humankind has been gone for countless of generations. This is our planet's legacy, and it's not right for you to make us leave without proper protocol. The President's decision is irrevocable and holds the highest honor and power among rulers all over the world. Please leave this instance, or we will make you leave forcefully. But if you leave, who will help the humans? I have a plan B. Wait, what if we just ask Mark for help? Mark? Come on, both of you, hurry up! Are you sure he lives here? I mean, it's been 35 years, you know? Trust me, you know the way. Wait, wait, wait a second. Is that him? Mark? It's Al Sullivan's. Do you remember? Just 
Sullivan, Xane, Green, Minx. Oh my god. What happened to you? You look so old and wrinkly. <laughs> yeah, well, 35 years it does things to a Unlike you guys who never age. So, what are you doing here? We're here to save your planet from the deadly virus that has spread. Yes, we heard your plan has been infected. This is probably one of your worst times to visit. The people were neg negatively prepared for your arrival because of the president's speech that took place last week. Oh, so that is why no one came to greet us or even celebrate our arrival. Mark, we need your help. We're the only ones who can solve this virus, but your president isn't letting us get any closer. First thing we need to do is try to switch everyone's mind about you guys. And how are we going to do that? They are refusing our help. We need to get them to trust us. Uh, hold on. I think I've got it. Thank you for coming. I know it is very sudden, but we need your help. Uh, he means us. OMG, is that an alien? It's really an alien. Mark, there's an alien standing in your living room. Help, someone call the police. James, relax. They're here to help us. How can unknown creatures help us? Thank you, Emma. Well, <clears throat> 35 years ago, I had come across these aliens. Once again, they have arrived to help us, and they mean no harm. If they did, all of us should have been dead by now. Anyway, we need them because they are the only ones who can help us. So, you guys in? Are you out of your mind? Do you not remember what the president said? Whatever your leader or president said is incorrect. We aren't the bad guys and we know how to cure this virus. All we need now is our cooperation and support to help gain the trust of the rest of the townspeople. I don't know, Mark. I can't really trust these, uh, these aliens. Alright then, let's do this. We have received an entry that the Celebans have not left the planet yet and are now in hiding. I won't let these creatures harm anyone. Thank you Mr. President for that notice. We now have our field reporter showing us some live footage of an alleged sighting of the Celebans. Yes, hello! We are now here in a small town where alleged sightings of the Celebans giving cure to the people have been reported. We are here to investigate whether these claims are true. Hi there, uh, excuse me? Is it true that the Celebans have been giving cure to the people of this town? Uh, I don't know anything about Celebans or aliens whatsoever. But if I were to say something, I think the Celebans are going to save us. Thank you. I think it may be difficult to confirm the sightings of the Celebans, but we will surely get to the bottom of this. That is all we have for today, folks. We will be back with today's weather. Guys, guys, I just ran into one of the news reporters. You didn't mention anything about the Celebans, right? Don't worry, I didn't. But I think they're on to us. We need to hide the Celebans. Otherwise, they'll take them away and the whole world will be doomed. She's not wrong. Things are getting more and more complicated. We have more than 10,000 new cases just for our city. You're right. We need to work fast. Wait. Where are the Celebans?
Guys, the virus is getting out of control. We must find ways to reach out to more people who need our help. Axane, I have a plan. And what's that, Bling? What if we make a deal with the president? Are you serious? That would mean the end of us as they're already hunting us since we are apparently a threat to mankind. But that's the only option we have. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel as if something's off about him. I'm getting a familiar vibe from him as if I've met him before. I know it's not possible, but just think about it. Are you sure about this thing? Because I must admit, he is the very first human who doesn't want our help. I think I know what it is, but we need the help of others to pull us off. Alright, end of meeting. Mr. President, the pandemic seems to be getting worse. What shall we do? Ask our scientists to work double time in finding a cure. Mr. President, our most trusted scientists have failed too many times in finding a cure. Some of them have already been affected by the virus. Um, why don't we just take the cure from the celebrants? No, 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 not at all. But why, sir? We've obviously hit a bottle. What are you to say? You question me, the president of the country? You are just a secretary. But sir, if this virus gets any worse than this, then that would mean the end of us and people will lose their trust in you, sir. No, I won't let that happen. I can't lose trust with my own people and let them gain trust on those celibates. We must do something before it's too late. I can't let these celebrants ruin my plan of conquering this planet. I've worked so hard for being in this position. The celebrant council never agreed to any of my plans in conquering Earth. They're all about peace and humanity. I don't want any of that. All I want is power. And now that it finally happened, these speculative celebrants come and ruin everything. Don't listen to something like that. was off with you, Mr. President. How did you get in there? My men have dark orders to capture you. It seems like your men have turned their back on you. Zoroar? <sighs> Just like all of you did, you had ruined my life in Sebi, and now you've come all the way to Earth to make my life even worse. Why do you need to ruin everything I've worked hard for? You could have just returned to Sebi and minded your own business. We have pledged our allegiance to planet Earth, and we are here to help humanity. I don't care about your allegiance. All I want is power and control over everyone. If only the Sullivan Council could have listened to my plan in conquering this planet, our planet would have been the most powerful planet in this universe. Why do you care so much about these useless little Earthlings? So I stop your pointless illusions. Our forefathers would have never thought that way. Our legacy, as celebrants, is to bring peace and order into the universe. Your thirst for power is a destructive force, and, and that is exactly what you're doing to this planet. We can't let you ruin this planet. These are innocent people you have tricked, and you have no right to do this to them. You can't do this to me again! No! Stay safe, all of you. Thank you, my friends, for saving our planet once more. You are most welcome. This is our legacy, and we are, and we will always be ready to help humankind no matter what. <sighs> oh, Miss Planet Earth. Time to go, everyone. Well, I guess this might be the last time you see each other. Yes. Take care, Mark. Goodbye. Bye.